it's 9.30 a.m. and I'm here at Archbishop Dermot Martin's residence in Dublin. It's Monday the 24th of August 2014 and today Dermot Martin is assisting at the funeral mass of the former Fisher of Ireland, Albert Reynolds. Father Darcy is the chief celebrant of this mass. Now we all know that Father Darcy has claimed to have been a victim of Roman Catholic clerical abuse himself. What we also know is that Father uh, Darcy, three years ago, was silenced by the Vatican and a group was set up to support him here in Ireland. And there was great shakes and great noises made. This was another one of the smoke screens that the Roman Catholic Church set up to try and take away from the real issues of those who are working to expose clerical abuse in Ireland. Strange that Father Darcy would today be celebrating at a mass, funeral mass, of a man that was involved with the Attorney General Harry, Harry Whelan. He was also appointed the President of the High Court in Ireland by Albert Reynolds. And these two men were involved in the cover-up of clerical abuse by Brendan Smith. Cardinal Brady also assisted many years early in this cover-up. They were also, Harry Whelan and Albert Reynolds, were also involved in the cover-up of the bodies found in the High Park Magdalen Laundry here in Dublin. This comes on there, Dermot Martin's remit. And I have asked Dermot Martin now to put this case, the Magdalen High Park Laundry case, to the investigating committee into mass graves in Ireland to see why all evidence was destroyed in relation to the bodies found in Magdalen High Park and no proper investigation was ever carried out. The father, Brian Darcy, wants to be seen as someone who is doing something about Roman Catholic clerical abuse in Ireland. Then he will be taken seriously by the people of Ireland when he throws off that uniform that he wears, the uniform that says that he's still taking a paycheck from the Vatican, the same Vatican that he claims silenced him from writing articles. Father Brian Darcy, like Dermot Martin, like all of them in the Roman Catholic Church today in Ireland, are a part of the problem and they are certainly not a part of the solution in Ireland. Let's not forget that Father Brian Darcy is also a huge supporter and sympathiser of Sean Quinn, another crook. This is the splendour they live in while they talk about people living in poverty and do nothing about it. Look at this. Good morning. Good morning. James Martin himself? I think he is on the premises all right. Good yeah. right. Could you tell all right. And I've left a letter and uh, it's urgent and if he wants I'll be at the gate protesting for a while. Okay? Uh, are you staying? Are you staying I'm here? staying outside the gate. Here, survivors of mother and baby homes have called on the government not to exclude any institution from its commission of investigation. It says a recent report was wrong to concentrate on nine better known homes and should be rejected when the cabinet sets the commission's terms of investigation. Today, new revelations about Bespera run by the Sisters of Jesus and Mary. 
The Irish Examiner reports that files in Cork City archives show the infant mortality rate in 1939 was 47%. In 1943, it rose to 61%, and in a subsequent investigation that year, increased to 68%. Most were very young infants, and most of them succumbed to weakness. This afternoon in Tullamore, an impromptu gathering of survivors of mother and baby homes expressed shock at the examiner's revelations. They say it strengthens their argument that in setting the terms of reference for its commission of inquiry into the home scandal, the government should not follow the lead of a civil service paper which only examines nine homes. It excluded very important um, institutions like, for example, the county homes where many babies were born. So from our point of view, everybody needs to be included in this. We need to know about what care the babies were given. We need to know about the babies who died. Why did they die? How did they die? How were they buried? And where were they buried? And very importantly, of course, we must remember the people who were living. Like Terry Harrison, who says her baby was stolen from her in Vespera for adoption. She wants the government to include in its commission of investigation a foreign figure, along with its chairperson, Judge Yvonne Murphy. She is Irish. She's part of the state. She's part of the picture. So, somebody from outside in the UN won't be. You can't take the picture and be in the picture. Joe Little, RT News, Tullamore County Offaly.